Welcome back. It was pointed out to me down in the comments that I missed Olivier over here on my mini rounds before doing the quest. So it's like, oh, let's get that. <laughs> Sorry, my good man, but this eight ball is mine. Damn, you're good. You might be as good as Wazzy. Better, maybe. Oh, looks like this guy is quite the shot. I do believe it's your turn. I know. Me second to think about how to play this. It's really amazing. That's so cool, mister. <laughs> All you need to help line up your shot is confidence. Of course, it is not the ball I have my sights on, but your very hearts. Oh, stop playing around. Oh, he's good. Could that customer be... No, he couldn't. Didn't I just see Abbas crack a smile? There's a first time for everything. What, did you think he was made of stone? But it's now time for the case of the missing kitten. My family's precious kitten, Marie, has gone missing. I searched the neighborhood yesterday but couldn't find any clues. Could you please help me find her? Oh, yes, of course, Bond, of course. Oh, what have I done? It's all happy because I wasn't watching Marie close enough. It's okay, honey. You don't have to come down so hard on yourself. She's right. We'll definitely find Marie. So cheer up, Zanita. Oh, you're here. Hi. Hello again. We're here to answer your support request. Oh, what a relief you responded. To be completely honest, I was contemplating whether the guild would be better for a request like this. But I thought it's only right that we turn to the SSS for help first. We're thankful you'd consider us. You said your cat, Marie, has gone missing? Do you know the last time you saw her? I can't say a specific time, unfortunately. But I do know that it was sometime yesterday evening. We were visiting the various stores on East Street when Sunita noticed. It was as if she suddenly disappeared the moment we took our eyes off of her. One of the nearby marketplace vendors helped us look for her as well. We searched late into the evening. Couldn't find her anywhere. You're such a liar, Father. You said she, she should be home by morning. Please forgive me, Sunita. Sunita. Have there been any sightings of her at least? Yes, uh, though not since yesterday. From what we were told, though, uh, no one saw her go onto the highway. Someone mentioned they'd seen Marie head in the direction of Central Square. Okay. It was already too late in the evening by that point, so we gave up the search. No good news since this morning, huh? She's probably still in the city, but it's anyone's guess where she could be by now. Oh, we're going to be searching it from top to bottom, then. And ideally, I'd rather we gather some more clues to narrow it down a bit. Has Marie ever run away from home since she moved to East Street? Oh, she's heading home, then? Not at all. This is the first time. Marie has been so attached to Sunita ever since we took her in. Marie is also a very timid cat. And it's hard to believe that she wouldn't come home after being separated from Sunita. The only explanation I can think of is that she simply got lost. I understand. It wouldn't be easy, but we may have no other choice but to sweep the entire city. If it's our only option, then we must. Once I've got a little rest, I intend to resume searching myself. This may take a while, so I don't mind if you take care of any other business first. Let me think. We're on the case. It's okay. I was thinking we should start right now. Really, it's great news. Where should we begin, Lloyd? It may only be repeating what they did yesterday, but I think the most sensible place to start would be retracing their steps on East Street. That checks out. Starting from square one, in other words. Do you think there's anywhere on East Street she might have been interested in specifically? Fishes? There's a store that sells fish. Oh, okay. If I were a cat, that's the place I'd be most interested in. Agreed, we haven't spoken to Mart, uh, the woman who runs it, since yesterday. Maybe she's seen Marie since then. She even helped us look yesterday. I know she'd be happy to help. 
you think you could check in with her for us? No problem. That sounds like the perfect place to start. What will you do, Bond? Fortunately, I don't have work today. I'll be going out to resume my search soon as well. Brody asked just about everyone on East Street, though. I plan to thoroughly search Central Square today to see if anyone spotted her. If you find any leads, please let us know. You got it! So, shall we collect a statement from the fishmonger? Yes, let's head there now. Like, to me, it's, it's obvious that Marie is trying to return home. Like, she probably did get lost and was like, well, I don't know where I'm going. I, that place over there looks familiar and is heading to the old Bond residence. That's all I can think right now. Beyond that, it's like, I don't know. I'm grateful you all agreed to help. I plan to continue my search over in Central Square. Please let us know if you find any leads. Please forgive me, Marie. This is all my fault. Sunita. We need to find her quickly. Yeah, let's hurry. For Sunita's sake. N not our own. No, 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 no. Please find Marie, everyone. She must be lost and scared as we speak. Let's go. Dum. Dum, dum, dum. Alright, so March. March, 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 March. Can I help you with something? I'd like to ask you a question. Lloyd explained the situation and asked Mart if she'd spotted Marie since yesterday. Oh, that's Bond's family cat, right? It's reassuring to know the CPD is searching for her. But unfortunately, I can't say I've seen her today. I even left some cat food after her overnight, but it went untouched. I would wager that she hasn't been back here since last night. Fair assumption. And they're regular customers, so I wish I could be more uh, of more help. Please find her for me, okay? That's our goal. Thank you for your time, Mom. Not exactly the start we were hoping for. What should we do next, Lloyd? Let's ask around the neighborhood a little longer. The search zone ends up widening. We may have to rely on side snows. I'm fine if it, if it comes to that. But I wonder how well we'll be able to communicate without Tio to interpret. That's a good point. Well, if we stay patient and use body language, I think we can... Oh no. What? Randy's... What's up, guys? What you doing? Nothing you'd ever care about, so scram. Wow, you're as mean as ever. I bet the princess over here would be willing to tell me if my hands work their magic on her again. I'll show you the time of your life. Uh, excuse me? We're in the middle of working. This doesn't concern you in any way. I ask that you not get involved. Oh, come on. It's not like I'm trying to get in your way. What kind of job is it anyway? Uh, fine, if it'll satisfy you. Lloyd explained the case regarding the missing kitten. Oh, so that's it. Well, what are you going to do now? How do you plan to catch Marie? I'm going to use a police dog to track her. <laughs> You're doing it all wrong. Huh? You seem pretty knowledgeable about dogs, but you don't know the first thing about cats. You gotta think about how Marie would feel. Put yourself in her very little paws. What do you mean? What you just said, the family recently moved to this neighborhood, right? Oh, she's going down my path, isn't she? In that, in, in that case, isn't the answer pretty obvious? Oh, I understand. I don't know how we didn't think of this earlier. We used to live in the residential district. Oh, so their old house is over there. Wouldn't that mean... Now I get it, Marie has been trying to get home this entire time. Just to her old home, not her new one. Uh, yeah, that makes total sense. I've always heard dogs recognize people, but cats recognize homes. Pretty easy to figure out if you observe a cat's patterns after it gets separated from its owner. Just reminding myself of the, um... There's a cat in the UK that catches a bus and wanders around town, then gets back on the bus and goes home. Yeah. True enough. 
That's why Copy has been living at the SSS building since long before we moved in. <laughs> Looks like you guys get it now. I'll go on ahead of you guys, okay? I mean, go on ahead. D don't tell me she wants to help. Seems like it. Maybe it takes a mischievous kitten to find a mischievous kitten. He's more like a tiger cub, though. Now's not the time to be joking. I don't think he is, really. Oh no, what is she planning to do? As long as it's not a fight, she shouldn't be too dangerous. Well, she gets bored easy and could always change her mind. Let's go take a look over there ourselves. Alright, let's head to the residential district. Let, let's head to the residential district. Miss the stairs completely. Oh, there you guys are. Yay! You know such slow pokes that I started looking for her myself. So, which house are we looking at? Well, it's this one. Wait, I don't remember saying you could help. Hey, miss, you a dog person or a cat person? Me? Well, um, if I had to say I'm probably a cat person? <laughs> Same here. Just give up, man. There's no changing on mind. Uh, I think you're right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I actually head out and go on fights? Ah, worth a try. Aw, why are we going back? Shouldn't the cute kitty's house be down there? Y yeah, it is. Randy's right, there's no point trying to talk her out of this. Try speaking to NPCs with her in the group. To think fit, I haven't seen the piece of delivery man around these parts lately. I used to see him around here all the time earlier this year. It was Jonah's fault. Undoubtedly, thanks to Jonah. He's in the Mon state right now, right? Nothing from you, Shelley? Like, we'll, we'll try going to different places. Just see if we get anything from her. I ran into our next door neighbors this morning. To my surprise, they invited me to join them on their drive. Naturally, I refused their offer. They're rather presumptuous, aren't they? That they are nothing from you, even though you're in Ellie's house. When Speaker Hartman was in the Diet, Master Henry tried his hardest to restrain the Imperial and Republican factions. However, thanks to his cooperation with the new mayor, both sides are starting to come together. It can only be for the better. Yes, cut it, Shelley. Anything? Nothing? Anything at all? Would be nice. Shelley? Are you there, Shelley? Oh dear. Right oh. Huh? What's going on? Hey, all those cops from before. <sighs> They're the losers from the spatial abort station or whatever. Yes, he has. And good to see you again, too. There's something we need to ask you. Think you can answer some questions? A cat? <laughs> so that's what's up, eh? Do you know anything about where it is? We don't got all day. Wise guys. How about you tell us what you know so we can get out of here? What do you say, guys? Should we? Yeah, Yuri, what should we do? Oh, yeah. Still gotta pay you back for cracking down on us. I'm not doing jack until you grovel at our feet. You can start by begging for forgiveness or stripping bare. The choice is yours. This is where Shirley's gonna come in. N not to strip, I mean, I mean, you know. Put them in their place. <laughs> what an awesome idea. There you have it. You gonna grovel or you gonna strip? Oh, leave the dudes out of it, though. These guys are even worse than we thought. They have zero respect for anyone, let alone us. As if we'll let these punk ass kids have their way with us. And I'll get us out of it. Huh? <laughs> Alrighty then. I think it's about time you cough up some answers, don't you? Or would you rather I slice you open like a fish and paint this place's walls with your blood? Uh, uh... 
Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you think you're doing to Yuri, you bitch? Uzaina. What? What are you doing? You can't possibly be serious. God damn it. Hey, you two, you'd better do as she says. I don't think she will do it. Fine, I'll talk. There was a cat here earlier. We scared it off, though. It's probably still somewhere close by. Is that what you wanted here, right? Let you go already, will you? You scared a cute kitty cat, did you? Was it kind of like this? <laughs> you want to join them? <laughs> Looks like you get it. All right, down you go. <laughs> there you have it. Marie should be somewhere around here. Let's hurry up and find her. Right. Uh, thanks for your cooperation. By the way, she doesn't work for the CPD, so don't bother lodging a complaint. She's just one kitten looking after another. She shut the hell up. Leave us alone already. Guys, you won't get away with this. It's that sort of thing like, well done, Shirley? Let's get this show on the road. She's, uh... Out of control? In addition to being deceptively strong. She managed to lift up two full-grown men with those slender arms. That girl is a commanding officer in the strongest Jaeger Corps on the continent. Her bloodthirstiness reminds me a little of you, Randy. Don't lock me in with that whack job. What are you slowpunks doing? We're gonna lose her if we don't hurry. Uh, d yeah, uh, be right there. It's around here somewhere. I doubt it's gonna be anywhere down here, it's just because... Nah, no, it's a fishing spot, isn't it? Oh, well, there we go. Lloyd, look! Yeah, that looks like Marie. We finally found her. Oh, I got excited then, because I thought she was going to like go through or jump over the wall and stuff into the abandoned house there. And off she goes. No biggie. Now we just got to catch her. Yeah, let's hurry. Founder. We need to be a little more cautious this time. Right, let's surround her so she can't escape to a different district. Ellie and I will handle the administrative district. Noel, Wazzy, you guys take the back alley. Roger, Lloyd. Yeah. Randy, Shirley, you two handle the residential district. Got it. <laughs> a pincer attack, eh? Come here, Marie. Don't worry, we'll take you home. Like, no, I don't want you. No need to be scared, Marie. Don't you want to come home with us? See, I'm not gonna hurt you. Sheesh, that part of her hasn't changed one bit. Oh, a cat, it's so cute. What an adorable kitty. Crap. It's obvious it was going in there. The door's open. Oh! She went into our conceal? That's one fast kitty. Uh, I guess we should follow her. Yep, it's a game of cat and mouse, and the cat's the mouse. What? It's good to see you again, everyone. I just saw a kitten bolt through here. Yeah, that might have been our fault. We're sort of in the middle of chasing her down. Do you mind if we search the theatre? Not at all. It'd be in everyone's best interest if you did. 
We're currently preparing to host the dignitaries for tonight's show. Timing couldn't have been better. Everyone on his own break now. That's convenient. I'll conduct a quick search, then. Do you have to remember which way she went? I'm terribly sorry. It all happened so quickly that I'm afraid I don't know where she is precisely. All I know is she went up these stairs behind me. Alright, we should split up then. Okay, how do you want to divvy us up? There are three doors. So we... Sh should we pair up? Sounds good to me. I'm coming with you then, detective boy. You know, honestly, I was going to say, like, if it gives me the choice, I'm going with Shirley. Because it would be the funnier choice and the more interesting choice. Huh? Uh, hold on a moment. Why? Who made you the boss? I don't know, just felt like it. Oh, did you ladies want to go with him instead? Th th that's not what I was getting at. Yeah, you're sidestepping the problem. <laughs> Sounds like Marie isn't the only cat to look out for. Don't make things worse. Well, you've already made it this far, so you better not pull any crap. You mess with our boy Lloyd, you mess with all of us. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's cute, but he's not my type. Cute? Uh, whatever. Let's split up and search the theater. Regroup at the entrance when you've finished scanning the perimeter. <laughs> Let's fish us out a kitty cat. I'm on it. I think she's an innocent, spunky girl when you talk to her like this. But that threat to kill those guys was no joke. I think there are two completely different sides to her. Huh? What's that? Did you fall in love with me? Not even remotely. Let's search the uh, section seats on the second floor. Hmm, <laughs> yes sir! You have to chase after Marie. You said the S-section seats are on the second floor, right? Let's go! I wonder if Marie is hiding somewhere around here. Oh! There's a shadow here. <laughs> that wasn't hard. Alright, leave this to me. Ah, oh, what? Fine, have it your way. Show me what you've got. Come here, Marie. It's okay, girl. Come here. Hmm, that actually worked. Wait. Crapper, then. Wait, wait. Uh oh. That was my bad. Nah, I screwed up to you. I guess I'm not as sharp as I thought I was. Looks like we came at a bad time. Sorry, you two. I thought that was our chance. It's okay. It's my fault for letting her get past me. Yeah, it is. Anyway, we should chase after her. To be safe, let's each head out the entrances we came from. Understood. Come on, we got a kitty to hunt. Interesting. I'm sure there's a shadow here. I don't know. It's just that feeling. Let's try going the opposite way, though. Let's go after Marie. She should be close. I'm not letting her get away this time. Huh? Who's that chick? What's Risha doing here? Hey, Risha. What's up? Weren't all of the artists supposed to be on break? Hi, Lloyd. My wardrobe had to have some work done to it last night. I came by the theatre to try it on and make sure it's good for tonight's performance. From the sound of it, I lost Kitten snuck in a little while ago. Yeah, she did. Wait. Came back this way because we thought the cat went in this direction. Huh? Really? We haven't seen her at all. The doors are open, it's clear where she's gone. Oh, the whole gang's already here. Even Risha is too. Sounds like you guys didn't track her down either. No one's seen her since we spotted her in the S-section seats. 
It has for the entrance to be sealed. So she couldn't have left the theatre. Our kitty cat is still sneaking around this place somewhere. Sounds like it. Should we search as a group this time? Sounds good to me. Uh, um, who is this girl with you? Oh, uh, she's, uh... <laughs> You're amazing. I haven't been able to take my eyes off of you. You haven't lowered your guard even once. How? Oh, what? Ignore her. She's my idiot cousin. I wouldn't worry about her. I, I would. Randy's cousin. I'm Shirley Orlando. Nice to meet ya. I've seen you on stage for Ark and Seal. But now that I've gotten a closer look, those things are a force of nature. Must be nice. I'm so jealous of you. Uh, excuse me? Speaking from personal experience, I wouldn't let my guard down either. I'll stop worrying so much. It's not like they'll shrink from a little bit of squeezing. You know, I feel like this is fate. The choice of Stein's kit, huh? Oh. Meow. That's where she was hiding? I'll chase her down. Uh, let me join in on the fun, too. Oh, I want a pain in my ass. What should we do? I'll back those two up. The rest of you wait here. She might try to escape again. Roger. Lloyd. I hope this wild kitty chase can finally come to an end. I don't know. I'm quite enjoying it, was I? Don't mind. Was it just like automatic? If you stand on it, it goes up. Could be. What? No, not the chandelier. Who could be? Who could be? This is nothing. Oh dear. Meow. Huh? Amazing. Mm, yeah. Well, obviously I had to check. Found nothing. What's wrong? It's not like I'm going to eat you. Calm down already, kitty cat. How's this? Shirley lightly scratched Marie's neck. Nyan. Mm hmm, <laughs> not bad, eh? How about this then? Nyan. Nyan. Calm down yet? She sure knows her way around a cat. And she's so agile. Hardly believe my eyes. Alright, I should check who's operating the stage controls. Indeed. Alright, let's head down together. No more funny business out of you. Got that? Nyan. What's going on now? Oh. This is bad. Oh, nice catch. Didn't even see it drop. Phew, you barely made it. Thanks for the assist back there. Yeah, I owe you one. Don't mention it. I kind of moved on instinct. And besides, I'm sure Shirley would have stepped in had I not. Really? Huh, so you knew. Yeah, I think there was enough of a window to save her if I jumped. Anyway, seeing that glorious chest of yours jiggle around mid-jump made hanging back way more worth it. Seriously, Shirley. My condolences, Risha. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I had no idea there was a cat hiding on stage. I shouldn't have begun to test the lighting without double-checking. Yeah, what's the big deal? Not like anyone got hurt. Agreed. Don't beat yourself up over it. Anyway, should we head on over to Bond's apartment right about now? Uh, yeah, he's probably still frantically searching for Marie. 
I know that one is nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you, you selfish little rascal. At least she's not frightened like she was a few moments ago. That's just how kittens are, you know? Thanks one to no one. You're just as much of a troublemaker. We should get going now. Thanks again for your help. Not at all. Perish the thought. Take care, everyone. Oh yeah, hot stuff. Reach you, right? Wanna be friends? Oh. I suppose so. I, I don't mind. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you, Risha. See you later. Bloody Shirley. Marie? Oh, where did you run off to? I was so worried about you. Nyan. No, I'm the one who's sorry. This was all my fault. But thank you, everyone. You brought her back to us. Don't you ever run off on your own again, okay? That's the thing, I know that one's nothing. It's like, it's just, it's not on the list, so it's just like, I don't know what you're saying, and it's confusing because I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> how heartwarming. That's another case closed. Words cannot express how thankful we are. You found our precious Marie. Indeed, how can I ever repay you? You first helped my husband in his time of need, and now Marie. Our family owes you so much. It's not true at all, Mom. Besides, this girl was the one responsible for bringing Marie home safely. I don't know what would have happened had she not been there to calm Marie down when she was frightened. Marie, you don't mean you want to be with her, do you? Meow. <laughs> don't worry. This little kidding says she loves you. It wouldn't be right of me to come between a match made in heaven like you two. Ready, Mary? Anyway, I think it's about time I get on out of here. I'm glad I got to have some fun with you guys and meet Marie. I even learned something really interesting. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Later. We might meet again sooner than you think, though. Um, starting to see the mischievous kitten connection after all. Like I said, that girl's more than like a tiger. Yeah, and it'd have been nice if my uncle taught her some damn manners too. Yeah, this is this is the thing I, I I'm clearly getting here with Shirley that I didn't get when she appears later at some point. I won't go into what. Just it's it's very much that case of like it's she is a nice person in a strange way, isn't she? It's her upbringing that's made her sort of socially unaware of what she's doing. I think that's the best way I'd put it. It's like, she's not doing it on a sort of mischievous, conscious level that it's wrong. It's just that's how she thinks people should behave. And that's wrong. To us. She was pretty helpful, though. I should have thanked her when I had the chance. Regardless, I feel as though I still owe the SSS a debt of gratitude. We'll never forget the kindness you've shown us. Um, let me thank you too. Nyan. <laughs> You're very welcome. We're always happy to help if you need us. Case of the Missing Kitten. Thank you again for your help today. My family seems to always be in your debt, SSS. <laughs> Zanita hasn't stopped giving Marie affection since she came home. Not that Marie seems to mind one bit. Of course not. Thank goodness you're safe, Marie. I'm going to have to punish you by hugging you all day long. Yan? Get ready, Marie. I'm coming for you. Hug! Yan. Again, like, I, I've, I've looked at the um, Kitty Talk for Dummies quite a bit, and it's like, yeah, there's... Nothing there in terms of what was presented. Right, so... Let's actually end this part here, and in the next part we'll go hand that in. So I assume we'll get an event either on the way or back at the SSS. So, we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.